Hello YouTube, welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. This is going to be the third game of this best of five series between Bion and Lilbo. These scores are about to be displayed, so if you haven't seen the previous games, I really recommend going into the description and clicking on the links there. It's going to bring you back to the previous games and of course you'll be able to uh, catch up on those. If you're on the stream, of course, you can scroll back. I do have the DVR option enabled so you can scroll back up to four hours on my streams. And uh, let's begin with this one. So let's introduce our players and then bring up the score. So on the top right hand side here, we've got Byun spawning as the red Terran. He is on Team X team and he's from South Korea. His opponent is going to be Lilbo. Lilbo is at the bottom left hand side here, spawning as the blue Protoss. And Lilbo is on Team Millennium and he is from France. Now, a quick reminder, this is from the Intel Extreme Masters Tape from February, I believe it was 2nd, 1st and 2nd. It was a two-day tournament, uh, just eight players, and I'm going to be casting the whole thing on my channel and, of course, on stream. If you're on the stream, that's pretty awesome. If you're on the VODs on the channel later on, that's pretty awesome, too. And let's bring up the score. Currently, Beyond at 2-0. So just a bit of details about what happened in the previous games. First game... Uh, Bion went ahead with his, his typical 1-1-1 build with uh, Marine, Medivac and Widowmine drop into the base. Didn't actually do anything with it, but he had two Hellions at the same time dropped into, into the, uh, the, the, the natural base and he destroyed a bunch of workers with that. Paying for those Widowmines, uh, pay, paying for that Medivac, Widowmine, Marine and of course the Hellions themselves just with those two Hellions. Now after that, Lilbo decided, okay, I'm kind of falling behind right now, I need to do something. So he went for an all-in with Stalkers, which unfortunately for him, failed. So at that point, he GG'd out, and that was Bjorn's first game. On the second game, Lilbo actually went for an all-in straight away. There wasn't even a whole lot of harassment up until the point that there was two Widowmines dropped into his natural base. Now, that, those two Widowmines absolutely shut down that base. And at that point, Lilbo decided to go for an all-in again with one base stalkers. And uh, unfortunately, yet again, it failed. So this is where we are now. So at the moment, it seems that Bion is pretty happy with his 1-1-1 build, which, as you can see, he's apparently going for again. Although he only has one gas, that's definitely something to note. So potentially not going to do the same thing here. Unless, of course, it's going to be a little bit delayed. Now, just to note, he doesn't have a... Reaper, which seems to be the most common way of starting. So could very well be going for it. It's just I'm not sure whether he's going to have the gas. Or maybe he will, actually, with one gas. It seems that he has enough to put up the Stargate. And probably going to have enough for the, the Medivac by the time that's built also. So he does have his base here. Now, in this one, Lilbo has opted to go for a robotics facility. So that's definitely something interesting. A bit of a variation here. So potentially not going to go for the Stalker all-in. He does have three gases on the way. So one is, two are completed and one is on the way. The question is going to be, is he going to do something very tech heavy? I think that he might actually not go for, for air in this one. He could very well go for something like Immortal slash... I, I wouldn't even say Disruptors because it's very difficult to get Disruptors into a Terran's base without dropping them in. But, you know what? There we go. We've got a Robotics Bay on the way. So, could see that indeed. Definitely a bit of a strange one. But, of course, doing the same thing as before didn't pay off the last time. So, uh, obviously trying something new to see if it works. And, uh, that is definitely an interesting one. So, there we go. A bunch of Marines being created here. It does have... Ooh, a Viking! So, that's quite interesting. Now, the Viking is probably there to prevent the drop so obviously he's expecting to have something going on or not even drops potentially the harassment from a an oracle or even phoenixes because in the previous game uh, the first game rather Lilbo did have phoenixes on the map so this is probably just to prevent him from uh, from doing anything so let's see marines moving across the medevac actually has two widow mines and four marines which could very well pay off if he manages to shut down a base just like last time. That'll be absolutely disastrous for, for Lilbo. Now I just want to have a quick look at the units. He does have two observers in the air. So he would be able to spot off. Oh, nice bit of uh, damage onto these 
probes does get the widow mine taken out pretty much immediately on this one though with second widow mine also starting to get dropped not going to get it completed now the the uh, robotics bay has been spotted at this point and there was one disruptor with a second one on the way right now now where is that disruptor that is the good question here oh there it is Oh, he could snipe off these. Oh, the Marines! The Marines! Oh, ho, 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 beautiful play here. Managing to take out most of those. And that could swing it in Lil Bo's way right now. I mean, his army supply is, is caught up with Bjorn's now. Despite the fact that he started off losing a few probes in his, uh, in his uh, natural base here. But those Marines getting sniped off nicely there. Beautiful play here. Now, two Disruptors now inside of that War Prism. Let's see what he's going to do with that. Now, he has two siege tanks not sieged up inside the main base. And he has a lot of production buildings being created as well. So, as you can see here, Barracks. Barracks does have the third one going onto the science facility. Now, it looks like we did have... Ooh, Liberators. Now, what is he going to do with that? That is the good question here. War Prism still up here. So obviously he's not too focused on trying to deal with that. And let's see, putting down the uh, the pylon, probably just to prevent it from getting any closer. So you could use the mothership core to overcharge, and at that point, of course, cause some sort of havoc. Now we have level one shields, our armors, and bio weapons going down for Bion. So gonna potentially move into some sort of uh, bio play here. Now this observer spotting pretty much everything. And these disruptors, I honestly, I, I kind of fail to understand. He's had them here for quite some time. He should definitely be trying to make use of them and getting a bit of damage down with them. Maybe he's just waiting for a an army to come down so he can basically just snipe them off. Like, if these marines and marauders, ooh, if they come down here, that's going to be a juicy one. And there we go. Is he going to get them now? Purification Novas. Going down now. They're running towards the marines. Oh, my God. The huge hit there. Beautiful play here from Lilbo. Taking out so many marines. Getting caught out like that with marines is just so... So dis distracting for a player because he's got so many units and they're so small. But when they group up, it's just absolutely huge. Another purification of going down. Managing to hit just a few there. But also a, a Marauder getting picked off there as well. So this is actually quite nice. I think this is exactly what Lilbo needs. He's failed in the last two games with two all-ins. And in this one, all he needs to do really is just stay on what he's doing right now. Take down that army, try to do a bit of mineral line harassment as well. And if you can take out enough units, you'll be able to steamroll your opponent after that point. So just a quick note for people that are watching this on the VOD later on, whenever it's released. Uh, I am pretty much streaming every time I'm recording these days. And uh, I'm streaming on YouTube, not on Twitch. I don't have a Twitch partnership, but I have a YouTube one, so I am able to, to stream on that. And oh, this surround, let's not get distracted here too much. This siege tank could very well get taken out here, not picking it up. And the medevac also getting taken out. There was the disruptor in the back, unfortunately getting picked off pretty much immediately. And Lilbo... With the nice stalker army, he does have a disruptor inside here as well. SCV's getting pulled off. Does he have enough? It appears that he has something going out. Oh, that's actually the, the Liberator inside of, of uh, Lilbo's base. And there we go. Purification of it going down. Is it going to hit anything? No, just one SCV. And this is quite scary now. The army supply is very, very even. This little uh, dude here doing so much damage. But at the same time, Bjorn had to pull off SCVs as well. So he lost even more workers of his own. And this Liberator now getting cleaned up finally. And let's see how this one plays out. So very nice so far. I have to say, Lil Bo doing exactly what he needs to do. Purification Nova could go down here. Oh, so close. Not managing to catch off anything. Even the Widow Mine being missed there. But that was very, very close. And honestly, I think this is exactly what he needs to do. If he keeps this up... This will be a very, very good game for him. And I think that this is the current uh, best meta for, for Protoss versus uh, versus Terran. Oh, oh no. Now, I'm pretty sure Widowmines don't one-shot them, but they do bring him down pretty low. 
there we go all the shields depleted and here we go the damage going down here i think that the terran army is in a little bit of trouble here purification over is missing but there should be another one ready very very shortly there we go going down terran's moving back just to dodge that liberate circle has been put down as well Now it's going down. It looks like a widow mine being dropped in here. Two widow mines even. Taking out quite a lot of, of uh, probes with that. And there we go to the engagement. There's a nice round here for Beyond, but does he have enough units? Honestly, I think he does. With the medevacs overhead, well, yeah, three medevacs at this point. He might just be able to clean this off if he's careful. He is starting to take out quite a few of these stalkers, just a few of them remaining. And oh no, Littlebo is starting to fall behind at this point. The Marauders doing so much damage. Lilbo, GG's out. And that is the third game for Bjorn. With a 3 versus 0 win for Bjorn for this tournament. Now he's going to be moving on to the round of 4. Which is going to be uh, in about 3 more series. And we're going to be starting off with the next cast very very shortly. And that is pretty much it for game number 3. Bjorn taking this series. It's the first series of the tournament. And he of course destroys his opponents in this one. So the next series is going to be uh, Polt versus Sulky. I hope you're looking forward to that one. It's a TVZ. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have enjoyed this one, of course, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.